NXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2021, Question 5. The curve C has equation y equals 5x to the 4 minus 24x cubed plus 42x squared minus 32x plus 11. For part A, we need to find dy by dx and d2y by dx squared. So here's our formula for y. To find dy by dx, we're differentiating. And with powers of x, all that we do is we bring the power of x down to multiply the coefficient, and then we take one off the power itself. So we can see that, for example, that first term, 5x to the 4, we multiply the 4 down, so 4 5s are 20. We knock one off the 4 to get x cubed. The second term, we multiply by the 3, reduce that 3 by 1 to get minus 72x squared. Same thing for the next term to give us 84x. 32x, well that's x to the power of 1, so the 32 stays the same. We bring the 1 down to make 0, well x to the 0 is just 1, so 32x differentiates to give 32, and the 11 just disappears. So our dy by dx is 20x cubed minus 72x squared plus 84x minus 32, d2y by dx squared, we're just going to differentiate again, so the same rules, we get 60x squared minus 144x plus 84. For part b, we need to verify that c has a stationary point at x equals 1. So if it's got a stationary point there, the gradient will be 0. So here's our dy by dx. We're going to take our x equals 1 and substitute that in. So we'd get 20 times 1 cubed minus 72 times 1 squared plus 84 times 1 minus 32 which gives 20 minus 72 plus 84 minus 32 which is 0. So therefore c has a stationary point at x equals 1. Now, as we're verifying that's all we need to do for this question. For part 2 we need to show that this stationary point is a point of inflection giving reasons for our answer. So as opposed to a maximum or a minimum, which are our other stationary points, a point of inflection is when the line has a gradient of zero for a while, but it's changing from a concave gradient to a convex gradient. So it'll, it'll be going down both sides of the point or going up both sides of the point, but that curve is changing. So to do this, we're gonna look at our d2y by dx squared. So our rate of change of the gradient. And we want to show that this either side of x equals 1 is going to go from negative to positive or vice versa. So to start with this, I'm going to pick a point slightly smaller than x equals 1. So let's go with 0.9. Substitute this into our d2y by dx squared that we found in part a. So 60 times 0.9 squared minus 144 times 0.9 plus 84, which is 3, which is larger than 0. And now we pick a point the other side of 1. So 1.1 will be fine and substitute this in. So 60 times 1.1 squared minus 144 times 1.1 plus 84, which gives us minus 1.8, so this is smaller than zero. So we've got a change of sign. It's gone from three, which is positive, to minus 1.8, which is negative. Hence, it is a point of inflection. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.